This introduces a topic which is taught at this level, which is the rules for applying multiple operations in the same question. And we have these mnemonics or acronyms to help our students remember the order in which they apply the operation. So in Australia we commonly use one called BOMDAS, which stands for brackets. The O can stand for all sorts of things, um, other operations, order, sorry not operations, orders or of, strangely. Multiplying, dividing, adding and subtracting. The United States commonly use, I believe, PEMDAS, parentheses, exponents, multiply, divide, add, subtract. And I've come across BIDMAS, which apparently is brackets, indices, divide, multiply, add, subtract. The problem with all of these is that it implies that there are six stages and that you apply them strictly in order one after the other. But you will realize, I'm sure, that we don't and that multiplying and dividing have to be done in order from left to right at the same level. And then adding and subtracting are done from left to right at the same level. People misapplying this will sometimes assume that multiplying has to be done before dividing all the time and adding has to be done before subtracting. Of course in this example, this acronym here, dividing is done before multiplying, apparently if you follow that incorrect um, interpretation. Now sometimes we can use brackets or parentheses as a way of helping our students. So let me just put up an example. Um, with an example like this with mixed operations, if you apply this in order left to right, you will get it wrong. So if you know the order of operations rules, you'll know to apply 2 times 4 and then add the 3. A teacher can help students by inserting brackets or parentheses, but note that that means you don't need the order of operations rules and so you can almost short circuit the students learning of those if you always apply bra brackets or parentheses. So, um, I would say we need to apply students uh, apply questions that do have brackets or parentheses as well as those that don't. In this example here, you can see that the parentheses make a difference. If we didn't have them, the answer would be different. So 11 take away 8 is 3, plus 1 is 4. But if we add the 8 and the 1 first, getting 9, 11 take away 9 is 2. So it does make a difference. So in all of these questions, um, using the worksheets, we would not be doing them in a time setting, at least that's our recommendation, but we would spend some time teaching our students how to apply it, and then these are practice exercises.